Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this awesome 2015 BMW i3 Giga World range extender that we have for sale. Uh, BMW's uh, first uh, purpose built electric vehicle. This one has a range extender, so I guess it's not completely electric, but basically the way it works is there's two versions of the i3. There's a regular i3 that's 100% completely electric. Then you have the optional option of getting one with a range extender. The one like this one that has a range extender has a little uh, two-cylinder BMW motorcycle engine. I think it's actually placed somewhere behind there underneath the, uh, uh, behind the rear seats underneath the parcel shelf. And basically what that does, it's not connected to the wheels, but it operates as a generator. So if you completely run out of juice, you're not stranded. You have a small 2.5 gallon gas tank, so you can, uh, once uh, you depleted of electricity from the battery, that range extender will automatically fire up and it'll provide enough energy uh, to get you to where you need to go. So of about 2.5 gallons of gas, you can go additional 70 miles. So battery range on this one, 100% uh, battery range is about 70 to 100 miles, probably closer to 70. Then uh, you have uh, about 70 miles give or take from uh, the gas engine. So about 140, 150, maybe a little bit further uh, miles. Obviously, uh, the range you get in this vehicle depends on the type of driving you do. Electric vehicles tend to be more efficient in around the town driving versus on the highway going 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. Most people who buy vehicles like this probably are going to use them for more around the town versus long-term commuting. I love battery electric vehicles. I'm the used car manager here, so I fully embrace them. I'm buying every battery electric vehicle I can get my hands on the Mach-E. Uh, we recently got the Kia EV6, I think is what it's called, the, um, their new uh, electric vehicle. We have a bunch of Teslas. I actually recently bought a Tesla myself. Um, uh, obviously, you might be considering a variety of battery electric vehicles. Obviously, we have a great selection at our store, Audi e-tron, another cool battery electric vehicle, Chevy Bolts, all fantastic battery electric vehicles. The BMW i3 is unique uh, in a lot of respects, especially compared to Teslas. Obviously, Teslas are very popular EVs, um, you know, but as, as much as I love my Tesla, uh, obviously, in the end, I, I could have bought this, but I bought my uh, Tesla. Uh, but one thing that's kind of cool about this um, that maybe some people might not like about Teslas is uh, this kind of feels like bespoke. Uh, and bespoke, I mean, it feels like this was custom built. Even though it wasn't, look at the interior, the seats, the design accents. You have this nice open pore wood trim. You have this really cool uh, biodegradable material. Uh, so when this goes into a landfill, when it's ready to be scrapped, it won't, uh, that will completely biodegrade. Um, the, the screens, uh, the look of it. All the little details of this thing feel a lot more uh, custom uh, versus like a Tesla, which is great, but my Tesla is probably as about bespoke as an iPhone is. Uh, so you have a little bit of a unique feel. This is a clean Carfax vehicle from sunny California. We have an original build sheet on it. There's different, uh, there's different uh, trim levels for uh, the, um, the i3. This is the Giga World. It's one of the higher trim levels, so you have lots of standard equipment, and this has some optional equipment as well. This beautiful shade of solar orange metallic with frozen gray accents, that was a $550 premium. Then we have the parking assistance package, that was $1,000. Then we have the technology and driving assistance package, $2,500. And for the Giga World upgrade, it was $1,500. So you can see the original MSRP on this thing was $52,795, about equal to what a you know Tesla Model 3 uh, was. They didn't have Model 3s back in 2015. Uh, the Model 3 didn't come out until 2017. So in certain ways, this is a little bit ahead of its time because uh, you know 2015, you just basically had the Model S uh, Tesla and the Model X was soon to come out. So those were, you know, $180,000, $100,000 cars. So this was a more affordable battery electric vehicle. But even though, you know, this is what you'd maybe, maybe call a little bit older technology, these are very uh, awesome, even by today's standards. The fit and finish, the way they drive is awesome. And they're all also pretty reliable. We've probably had about 20 of these over the last two years. And, um, you know, to me, you know, it's just my opinion, but I'm the used car manager. I have to approve all the work. I see what's wrong with these vehicles. Doesn't seem like we have too much going on with these things. And that's basically the secret sauce of battery electric vehicles is that they're going to save you money, not just in gas, but they're also going to save you money on service. All right. So beautiful interior. Uh, we have a navigation system on this one. We have a rear parking camera, front rear parking sensors. Um, uh, 
heated uh, front seats. I uh, like the uh, steering wheel design. I like the shifter. It's all contained here. So you just you flip that up for drive. You have reverse, neutral, you have park, and that's your on and off switch. There's your uh, gauge cluster that tells you your gas gauge for your gas, and that's your uh, battery gauge. Obviously, this one needs, <laughs> we need to fill up on gas and electricity. So when I'm done with this video, we'll take it over and plug it in and have uh, our, our one of our lap porters fill it up with gas. Another unique thing about the i3, this thing was not built cheap. That's why it was over $50,000 when it was brand new. Look at this. This is a unique, uh, it's, a, it's a carbon fiber and plastic composite material that BMW developed. Uh, so it's very strong. It should be stronger than steel, but it's also very, very light. Weight is your enemy with battery electric vehicles. So basically the whole uh, you know, shell of the vehicle uh, is built with this uh, carbon fiber composite material making it very very strong and also very very light. If you just uh, strip all the stuff off and you're just left with the body of the vehicle it actually can be picked up by two adults so it doesn't weigh that much at all. And also even though this is a small car it doesn't feel too small on the inside you have a decent amount of interior space M6 foot 2 and uh, for a small car the rear seat interior space is not bad at all and then you have these uh, the way these doors open makes the entry and exit very easy. Also, we just put four brand new tires on this thing. Tires are probably one of the most uh, expensive, it is the most expensive maintenance item you're going to have to deal with with a battery electric vehicle. Uh, really, there's not too much else as far as servicing goes that's going to cost more than tires. You know, you're going to need wiper blades, maybe some new brake fluid or things like that. The seats fold down. So charging, uh, this is a basic wall connector. Uh, with a basic wall connector like this on a 110 outlet, you could... Uh, get maybe 50, 60, 70 miles of charge overnight. Uh, for instance, I don't drive that much. I maybe drive 20, 30 miles a day. So even with my Tesla, I don't need a uh, fancy charger. I just plug it into a regular wall outlet. You know, I come home at uh, around 7, and then I leave for work around 9. And uh, just by doing that, um, I gain between 50, 60 miles of range overnight. So I have, I have plenty of range. <laughs> I don't need a fan fancy charging for my vehicle because uh, I don't drive a lot. Obviously, if you do, you can get uh, level two charging uh, and uh, you can get a faster charge out, maybe at about 20 miles of range per hour. So here, uh, obviously there's no engine here, so you have a little bit extra storage. That's your tire inflator kit, no spare tire, so you'd use that to uh, inflate your tire if you have a flat. And uh, you can put your battery charger, some other items in here. Really cool design. This is your uh, gas tank for uh, the range extender. And then here is the, uh, for the charging. So th this is uh, for basically regular low voltage charging. And then you pop this out and that will accept high voltage charging and DC fast charging. Like um, Electrify America is one that's pretty close to us. Uh, it's not a huge battery, so you should be able to get a full charge in about a half hour of DC fast charging. But that's the nice thing about the range extender is well, other people with just 100% electric vehicles, they're going to have to rely on uh, finding a DC fast charger to top off their vehicle to, you know, make it the rest of the trip. But for you, you just need to top off the gas tank and, uh, you know, obviously it's not a ton of gas, but 70 miles of range, uh, was it going to take you about a minute, less than a minute to fill up a 2.5 gallon tank? So uh allows you to get to your destination or if you have trouble finding dc fast charging and you're in pan you don't have to panic hey i can fill up the gas tank and that will buy me a little time to find my uh, dc fast charging or to get me to my destination so obviously that buys you a little bit of uh flexibility uh when you get a vehicle like this for that range extender versus having a completely all electric vehicle thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video hopefully we see you soon and have a wonderful day